Happy Monday! Welcome to a new vlog! <laughs> Happy Monday, y'all! Welcome to a new vlog from, from Ohio! Uh, Columbus, Ohio! <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> we made it to Ohio. We, we did. mosied though. We did. We took our merry little time. <laughs> we did. I did all the driving. No, that's not true. You did like an hour last night, no, hour and I a did half. more than that. Like an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. Just because you wanted to get us through Indianapolis yeah, before the Yeah, we, uh, week. <laughs> yeah. we stopped last night at, um, at the big rest area just east of Indianapolis on the 70, stayed there last night, and moseyed into Columbus this morning. We stopped and got the truck washed. So yeah, tomorrow morning. Well, I've already called uh, W.W. Williams, and I, I don't know why I thought it was E.L.W., but it was actually W.W. Williams here in Columbus. Maybe because E.L.W. did our generator on the last truck. They did do our generator on our yeah. last truck, so maybe I was That's confused right. there. I've already talked to the general manager who answered the phone when I called, and told him the whole situation. He's all, well, that doesn't sound like something we do. I'm like, oh, you no, know, you did it. Trust me. You did. It. Well, we usually wire it into the, the transfer switch. I'm like, no, you wired it. So I'm going to have to show him what they did wrong. Um, he said they're going to get us right in. So, what time do they open? Uh, at 7 o'clock. Oh, okay. Said to show up around 8, 8.30. So we'll be there first, first thing in the morning. Thing. Yep. Yeah. And then we get to go hang out with Patrick from Highfield. Yes. He is going to show us the ropes of what it is to be a fleet owner. Yeah. And so. that's really, really cool because we get to bring you guys along. Yeah. And yeah. show you what is involved with being a fleet owner. Like right. Like what all they go through getting trucks ready. and. He's got two new trucks that yeah. he's got to get ready tomorrow. And then he's got a third truck that a driver has returned. I believe they got upgraded into a new truck. And now they got to go through the process of getting that used truck ready for the next driver. So, yeah, and it, cool. it, you know, it's a whole process. They, you, there's stuff you got to do. And I, I think it's cool because a lot of people might think, well, if I buy some trucks, I'll make money and I can hire drivers. And there's so much more to being a fleet owner, you know, yeah. um, getting trucks ready and stuff like that. And just a logistical nightmare. And this is what uh, Patrick does week in, week out, you know, jumping through hoops and trying to get things done and drivers ready for, trucks ready for them after they get out of orientation. And so I think it's gonna be really cool to share with you guys. Yeah, because as soon as we decided we were coming up here to get the generator and stuff looked at, we told him and let him know we were coming and yeah. asked him if he would mind if we kind of helped and followed him around so yeah. we could show you guys exactly yeah. You know, because they're one, a bigger fleet owner, too. So it's going to be really interesting to show you guys that. And yeah, yeah. Really grateful that he's going to let us. And I know we've said it before, but we just love what they do. You know, they I do. mean, they're, they're such do. good friends of ours that, you know, we we just love what they do. So it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, and to show you guys. And to show see. you guys really, just really the, cool. the whole process. Yeah. So, yeah. But it is hot here. Oh, my it gosh. It's like 80-something. And We're, we've got both rooftop fans going. Yeah. We're the windows waiting. open. It's, what, what's the temperature in here? <laughs> 88, oh, not bad, 88 degrees 88 inside the sleeper. Watch out, Mike. I mean, the fantastic fans draw some air in, so it's not terrible, <coughs> but yeah, it's not AC. But. It's not air conditioning. And it's supposed to get down into the 70s tonight, so we Last should, night wasn't bad. It was nice, yeah. We stayed at a rest area in India, just outside of Indianapolis, so hopefully it's just as nice tonight. Yeah, let's hope so. Yeah. Oh, you're my mic twisting. Mic so that's the one too. thing about these mics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling Heather, we need to get some tape and tape them to our chest. Yeah. That's going to hurt me more ripping it off, though. <laughs> Rip off your chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to chill tonight. Yep. Till we can get in, get the truck in in the morning and yep. have a cool week. Yeah, it might be the next vlog. I don't know how the vlogs vlog. are going to be this week. Yeah, because yeah, be we're not running. Week. We may yeah. have kind of a weird, we'll still try to put them out Monday, Wednesday, Friday yeah. kind of thing. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, but I hope you guys are excited. Come along on our journey of seeing what a fleet owner does. <laughs> Are we done? Yes, we're done. All right, I'm hot. Okay, peace. <laughs>
Happy Monday. Happy Tuesday. 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 <laughs> Tuesday. We He's got the truck in the shop. Days. Yeah, we got the truck in the shop. And look at this beautiful truck we're we in. We are in Western Ooh, Star. My fancy. face got all bright there. This is one of Highfield's new trucks that they're going to be putting a driver in. I mean, how, golly, look at this. Look at it. I wish we would have started in a fancy truck like this. Yeah. But we're here, like we told you guys in the last clip, we're up in Columbus, Ohio. Our truck, we took it over to WW Williams. They're getting all the generator stuff looked at, yep. figuring out what's wrong. But we're gonna spend a couple of days here with Patrick and Mel and Eric from Highfield and just see what they go through, kind of help them out getting trucks ready for yep. drivers. Yep. This is a brand new truck that they just picked up from Western Star. Western Star. Because it's a reefer truck, you could probably hear the reefer running. Um, because it's a reefer truck, with FedEx, they have to put it through the test to make sure that the reefer unit is going to work properly. So that's what we're over here doing right now. Getting it all ready for the drivers before they come and get in, into it. Yeah, we really thought it'd be cool to show you guys kind of the process they go through and all the hard work that they put into getting these trucks ready for yeah. drivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a simple task. He stepped up in the back and he put some test probes back there that, um, and then he's got to let the reefer run. And then he's also got to take the truck for a drive around the loop of Columbus to uh, make sure it's going to keep temp while you're driving around. Right now, well, that's what we're doing. Well, let's go see what we do next. Yeah, cheap. We told them they got cheap labor for a few days. So yeah. Let's go. Cheap labor, free labor. <laughs> free labor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is a second truck that they're getting ready. And this one's been testing all night. We're getting ready to pull the probes out of the back and I want to show you what those look like. All right, so we're going to get the probes that they put in here last night for this testing. They're making sure that the reefer is keeping temperature. So we're going to climb up here and we're going to grab these probes. And what they do is they're going to send them back overnight to FedEx so they can get all the data from them. Oh, feel that air conditioner. The temp in here should be 40 degrees. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> so we got one probe here. This is what they look like. This one's stuck on, so we have to pry it off, maybe. Got two, and our third one's here towards the front of the box. <laughs> ah, blooper! <laughs> blooper! <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Did you get that? I got it. Oh my god. Yeah, doofus. All right, so here's the three probes. Don't drop them. Oh, here's the three probes, so they're going to put this in an envelope. And they got all the label and stuff that they're going to send this back to FedEx so that they can get all the data off of them. <laughs> One more thing we got to do before we send these in, we got to push stop. You got to hold it down. There we go. So we're all stopped and ready to send them in. We are at a FedEx drop-off location. Kind of ironic, isn't it? Yeah. FedEx truck, FedEx drop-off location. I told location. him to use UPS, but apparently <laughs> that's not UPS. appropriate. So let's show you what we're sending. We've got our three probes and they're labeled here. We got front, center, rear then we've got our two these are the temp receipts that come out to show the temperatures this shows every 15 minutes and what the probes read we've got our worksheet here this is the worksheet they go by that tells you how to do the test voila and lastly we've got our fedex label that we're going to get the lady in here to give us a padded envelope to get this sent off to FedEx. So we're going to pack all this up, take the sticky thing off, <laughs> get it all nice and sealed, and let's go in and get this sent off. The envelope, and then we've got a okay. label for it. And we did need a receipt for it too, okay. so thank you. you okay. Right there. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have a great day. You too. 
All right, so we're all dropped off. We got our FedEx receipt, and this is gonna take three days to get this test back for them to know everything is okay with the temp check. Cool. So we are into the next day, and we got a whole truck set up, and we were planning to do the same thing today. We we're gonna set up with low bars and straps, and, and of course, what happened? We're all out we're of, out of stock. Bars. Yeah, out of stock. We were gonna film all that today because we were kind of helping, figuring out how that whole process goes yesterday. But today we're out of stock, so we're gonna have to jump to the next day. But that's one of the things, like you stock up on a bunch of stuff to, to save money, low bar straps, TV satellites, all that good Tire stuff. chains. Tire chains. We actually just went and picked up a truck for them over at, uh, was it Ziegler Tire? Ziegler Tire. Yep. What we have done over there? Are we we had the Centromatics, which are wheel balancers yeah. installed on the trucks. Yeah. We buy the Centromatics and they just install it for us. Yeah, so he gets all that ready before the driver even gets into it. And that was the unit that you drove around already and tested. And That's correct. You still got to do this one, right? I did this. Uh, I drove the city this morning yeah. for its test yeah. um, and brought it back here and got over to a place to install the additional load bars and found out we were out. All out. Yeah. So we're, we're going to have to hold off because we're going to go pick up a bunch tomorrow, right? 50. 50 of them to stock them back up. And, but that's like some of the things that he has to do, you know, as a fleet owner. And sure, you could hire somebody and pay them. Well, and we get more control when I put my hands on every truck. I get yeah. to know that it's done right. I get to know when the team leaves here. They right, have their best right, shot. Right. No one's slacked. And, yeah. Right, right, right. But he's out here, you know, circling the whole Columbus to do those, uh, what do they call pad tests? Or PQ tests. PQ tests. Performance test. qualified tests. Yeah, yeah. Making sure the reefers work right and stuff. So I think that's all we're doing today, really, uh, since the whole low bar thing, we're all out. So we're going to fast forward till tomorrow once we uh, go pick up those low bars and stuff and we'll come back and kind of show what we do or what they do every week like every single day of the week or multiple you know times. yeah multiple times of the week What's up, you guys? Howdy, well, howdy. It is the next day. Yep. And we came up to Lodi, Lodi Metal, to pick up some load bars we and got, straps. We got the load bars we and told straps all back about there. Yesterday, or straps on Jason top. Jason and Patrick told y'all about yesterday. Yeah. And now we are in Cleveland. This is the life of a fleet owner. He got a call. He's buying a truck, another yep. truck for their yep. fleet. They had the paperwork ready and everything was ready to go. So he's all, well, hey. You want to run up and go <laughs> grab my truck? And of course, we're going to drive the Sprinter back down for him, and he's going to drive the truck. And Yeah, he got a good deal. He got a 2019 Freightliner Bolt Sleeper. 3,000 miles on it. Yeah, somebody had it, and it was a repo, and he got a good deal on it. Mm -hmm. So he snagged it up and is going to put it to work. So. Basically a brand new truck. Yeah, pretty but, much. Only has 3,000 miles on yeah. it. Yeah, I think it's, it's got a Wabash box on it that has a, co a issue that he's got to get fixed. Yeah, but, and but. I think he's putting new seats in it, he said. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's inside, was getting all the paperwork, and man, he's just a busy man. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go. So here it is. This is what he just bought. So it has a 90 or 100 inch bolt sleeper, a Wabosh box. Dry it's box. A dry box, single axle, no lift gate. Which I think he's going to add all of that to it. Yeah, sometimes he does. Depends on what the what they're going to be using it for. It is a dry box, so. Yeah, just waiting on him to come back out. And we're going to follow him back down to... Columbus. Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we got all the low bars and there's a truck down there that we got to get ready with the low bars and straps and get all that all set up in the new truck. So we'll be doing that, I think, once we get back. Yeah, this afternoon we'll show yeah. you that. Yep. Yeah. So we'll catch you guys back down in Columbus.
again, y'all. So we are back over here. Jason and Patrick are in the back here getting this truck set up for the new drivers that are gonna be taking it over. They're getting all the load bars in, they're getting it all set up so everything is ready to go once the drivers get into the truck so they don't have to worry about doing any of that or going anywhere to get it done. All right, two short straps. All right, here we go. 12 blue straps, two gray. And a crate. So Mel, how long does it usually take you all to get one truck set up, each truck? About an hour, hour and a half. Each truck? Yes. And how many do y'all usually do in a week? On a good week, we could do up to four. And that's not including if they have to run around and get stuff, like today, when we had to go pick up these load bars, mm -hmm. that was pretty much almost an all day thing. Right. Because we went and picked up the load bars and he got the other truck, which we showed y'all. So yeah. And this is just setting up a new truck. If it's one that's previous, we still have to go through it and check everything and refix the back a lot of times. And right. Get everything <laughs> accounted for. That's one of the things that we love about Highfield is they, look over every truck before a driver gets in it no matter if it's a new truck if it's a truck somebody's turning in y'all are hands-on and make sure everything is you know as perfect as it can be for the drivers before they get in it right whereas like a lot of fleet owners they'll just have somebody drop a truck off at a carrier and they don't even know what it looks like when the drivers get in it mm -hmm. so that's pretty awesome all right so he builds a wall of four load bars. Basically, this is your wall for your freight stuff, your dunnage, all that. Um, he, he had these special straps ordered that are really short. Nah, it's hard to show. Over. There we go. So if you see, this piece right here is a short strap part which makes it easy for strapping up uh, small pallet jacks and things like that. So he's got the pallet jack properly secured. DOT can't uh, violate the driver for that. And then you got your four-wheeler and two-wheel dolly. Then we got one, two, three, four, five, six load bars in here right now. We're getting ready to put another five load bars in here. So the driver has tons of low bars to be able to secure freight and stuff. Man, he's putting us to work. <laughs> Making us drive to Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna let's do that real quick and we'll catch back up. Oh. Four. Alright. Top six. They are getting chains, blankets, triangles, and we also put a roll of tape in this toolbox, all for the driver to have to be able to chain up the tires. And this truck is a twin screw, so it needed four sets of chains in there. And then you said 12 blankets? It's 24. 24. Yep. And then roll of tape. Ba bam. <laughs> All right, so in here we got two sets of Centromatics. These are going to be the rears. This is for the front axle, and then they also got their placard holders that go inside the front bumper. They are going to be doing the same thing with this truck as we did with the last truck and taking it over to Ziegler Tire. Boom. So they also put these uh, metal plates, one on each side. This is to hold their IFTA stickers. And she's going to put one on this side. <laughs> oh. Nice and shiny. Yeah, and that's nice so they don't have to put their IFTA stickers on the paint of the truck. Makes them easy to get off and put the new one on each year. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, show this. Patrick. Oh yeah. This is a, a high field exclusive. <laughs> that. Look at what also they put in each truck. 
is this nifty little fuse box. It has all the fuses that they're gonna need since you have to have spare fuses. I think that that uh, Fida does these for, how much do they cost at Fida? 100 bucks. 100 bucks. But Highfield provides is, every truck with this. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Has everything you need. It even has the fuse puller in there. Fancy schmancy. <laughs> High class. High class. <laughs> Another really awesome thing that Highfield does for all of their trucks, they provide them with the DirecTV satellite. They already have, it's an in motion satellite on every truck. They provide the service so the driver doesn't have to pay for that, which is, <laughs> bless you. Sorry. Which is super awesome. Mel is getting it all set up. Like I said, they get these trucks set up for these drivers so they don't have to worry about hardly anything when they get out here. So they get the luxury life. They get all the luxuries a driver could want. <laughs> Hooking up the satellite. <laughs> it actually went on the first try. <laughs> is that a smart TV? Yeah. Are you serious? Seriously, the hard time. That? Smart TV? <laughs> what? Mowing. Yeah. It even comes out. Look at that. And you can change it. Oh, that, see that mood lighting? What? <laughs> we had to buy separate mood lighting for ours. I know. Happy Sunday. Fun day. Ooh well, gosh, Ooh you guys. Sound like one of the Jackson <laughs> Five. Ooh <-hoo> <laughs> <laughs> Our time with Highfield has come to a close, you guys. Yes, yeah. Man, it's been an awesome time getting to spend this week with. There them. was so much stuff that other stuff that we did that we just didn't get a chance to film. Oh my um, gosh! Well, you've seen a lot of what we did with. Um, <clears throat> there was stuff they were doing when we were doing other things and yeah. you know that that we didn't get a part get, didn't get a chance to film also but yeah but you saw us getting the last few clips you saw was us getting a new truck ready for a new driver but yep. yeah there was a couple uh drivers that they met this week the cool thing is they meet every driver when they come to pick up a truck yeah, yeah and they walk them through the truck make sure they know where everything is if they have any questions they are one-on-one -on -one with them which is awesome yeah, yeah they had a truck returned that the drivers were getting into a new truck so they had to go and walk or walk that truck see anything that needed fixed or repaired or was missing that they needed to put in they also when they have a truck that a driver returns before they put a new driver in they have professional cleaners yeah come and detail yeah. the whole inside of the truck yeah i mean these guys they, golly i know it's funny that uh, you know, I hear drivers complain and talk about fleet owners all the time. And, you know, they, they, they think that fleet owners just buy trucks and they sit at home and make money. And there's a lot, a lot of work. Of work. There's and a lot of work. And trust me, these fleet owners are at least high filled. You know, yeah. I don't, I'm sure there's other fleet owners out there, yeah. too. But, you know, um, they earn their money. You oh, know, yeah. they're not just sitting around at, in their big fancy house and <laughs> getting a check in every week and not make it do earning their keep, you yeah. know, the, and I mean, they put in their work. They yeah. really do. And I, they worked us to the bone, <laughs> you know, and I, we offered it. Yes, we offered, we, we wanted, wanted to, to see, and we experience it and see what they go through yes. because we promote them. I'd like to know, hey, well, what do you guys do? What is the process you guys go through? So Which we we knew their process from talking to them yeah, but we yeah. actually wanted to see it and being it's, able to help and hands-on see exactly what they do is it's, it's so different when you're when you see it in person it you is, know it, and we didn't even <clears throat> touch on you know this is just the the logistic side of getting trucks ready for drivers and moving oh, trucks and oh buying yeah. trucks and oh taking yeah. trucks to get repairs and yeah. that's not even including all of the uh 
payroll they do paperwork you know that side of the business yep. i mean getting when a driver's in an accident they got to go through the logisticals of getting that truck repaired mm -hmm. and if it's damaged out of beyond drivability they got to get it done in the city that the accident happened i know they actually had a truck that got t-boned in las vegas and they had to deal with velocity freightliner oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, patrick said that is the worst freightliner he's ever had to deal with he hates them yeah, you we know won't be back there it's funny we got a lot of calls uh from other people who have had dealings <laughs> yes. with velocity too so which speaking of the truck our truck the apu is fixed which we'll talk about in the next vlog what happened with that because yep, yep. we just mainly wanted this vlog to be about you know, spending the time here with Highfield and what a fleet owner actually goes through. You know, and this every fleet owner is different. You they know, are. Highfield is a larger fleet. You know, they're growing every day, every week, every month. They're they're up to what fifty trucks now? Fifty something trucks. 50 and plus. they got like ten trucks on order right now, maybe a little bit more. Um, you know, some are just gonna be additions to the fleet, mm -hmm. others are gonna be swapping out older trucks yeah. that they'll be selling the older trucks trucks and putting drivers in newer trucks and mm -hmm. you know that that's the process that they're going through week in week out you know yeah this is really amazing and, and we appreciate them you know letting us come and film and being yeah. on the video yeah. and yeah. you know being able to show you guys kind of their process but a, a lot of drivers ask well why are you promoting Highfield if you work for Landstar and we've known the, the Highfield for couple years now oh, yeah. you know it's oh, not yeah. something we're just we came across Highfield yeah. and we're just going to start <laughs> promoting for them we've taken the time to give, kind of vet them and we get approached by fleet owners all the time that they want us to re help recruit, recruit drivers or, and yeah. stuff like that but it's not something we just willy-nilly do we you don't know? take it lightly yeah. no no because if we're going to refer a driver to to go drive for a fleet owner you know, we want to make sure it's legit, you right. know, that they're, they're going to have a fighting chance of being successful. Mm -hmm. And Highfield had time and time again, from all the people that we've referred over here, um, have successful drivers, you know. Yeah. So it, it, you have to be willing to play the game with them and reap the reward of the success. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and <laughs> it that's, really is. I think I may have already said this, but I, the one thing that I really, really love is that they are hands on. With they used to be drivers. They started they out as drivers. They used to be drivers, which I love. Started so out they, as drivers. they understand what drivers go through. They yep. they provide the drivers with all the amenities you could need. And they it, are just hands on with everything. I mean, they take the time to. to check over every single truck and make sure that it is ready for whenever their drivers get in there they do their best be, at it they yes, do their they best because even they, can, they are going to miss stuff because right. well, yeah, it's I mean, trucking it's, it's trucking. trucking. It's, nothing's perfect but <laughs> Nothing they try perfect. to make it as perfect as possible so when the yeah. drivers get into these they do trucks their best. they don't have to go deal with go taking pick a up low bars to get pick up straps or get pick, a, a reefer fixed or yeah. an apu fixed or take or, to, go to the tire shop and have your centromatics put on Right. Now that you doesn't, know? like Jay said, doesn't mean that that stuff won't happen. Absolutely. But they do their best to to make the drivers the most successful Patrick, to uh, at, from the get-go patrick is such the perfectionist he that is. he <laughs> and he's <laughs> been really doing is. this for so long now that he really strives for this perfection Which when is he's setting, amazing and yeah. awesome for the drivers that they yeah, have I mean, yeah yeah to have somebody like that working <sighs> on your side is yeah so i mean yeah, it was awesome. We had an amazing week with amazing them. Week. It, was it was really, really cool. cool. I hope they you guys worked. enjoyed the video. I'm ready to get back out on the road to uh, catch a break. Yes, <laughs> which we have a load lined up. You'll find out in the next vlog. We we'll talk we about that. But yeah. yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like Jason said, they've got trucks on order. They're going to be needing more drivers. They have yep. trucks at Panther and at FedEx. Yep. So we De always have a link down in the description. If you, It's a link. You can click on it, set up an appointment to talk to them to get a, an interview, phone interview, and go from there. They're looking for husband and wives or... Same household. Same household. Or if you're already a team and your buds, like... Yeah. If you got a friend that you've known forever, yeah. you know, yeah. they don't marry teams up together just because that's yeah. historically that has never worked. <laughs> right. You know, it, it's 
the statistics of pairing up two strangers together and it working is yeah. probably like one percent yeah it, it, <laughs> that's so a it's, lot more headache than yeah it's worth, yeah that's but. way more headache so but if you're yeah. same household you know yeah or if you're you know thinking about making the move to get into expediting you know get, click the link Give them, give them a chance. Talk to them. Ask them yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're always very helpful and, and one of the best ones so. out there. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. It so. was really fun. Thank you guys for having us. Yes. Thank you, Highfield. We love you guys. Yep. <laughs> love what you do. Yeah. But yeah. We then we're gonna wrap this one up. We're gonna it's already wrap it up. getting long, I'm sure. But I think it, it <laughs> was fun. It, it was really fun. All right. All right. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And tell our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. Whoosh! <laughs>